Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 123 of Reynolds Reviews and on today's episode I'm going to take you on a full room tour of the Reynolds Reviews base. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro today I'm going to take you on a full room tour of the Reynolds Reviews base. Now it's been around 14 months since I did my last room tour. Uh, things have changed quite significantly since then. Not only has the room layout changed uh, but the contents as well. Now this room was only ever really meant to be a Star Wars room but over my sort of two years on YouTube I have been influenced by so many YouTube channels and so many collectors that I'm now picking up various different toy lines. Uh, the room has changed quite a lot in that time. So I'm going to take a look at everything today. Now while I take you around I am going to try and give you a little bit of background on things and where they've come from. Uh, I'm going to try and remember everything as I go so please forgive me if I forget anything or forget anybody uh, you know I'll try to do it all in one go so please forgive me if I make any mistakes. Uh, also you know if you've ever sent anything to the channel the room is jam-packed full now I'm struggling to get everything on display there is so many things upstairs in boxes and in storage so if you have sent me anything as a gift please please if you don't see it in the room tour don't worry it is here I do have it uh, it will just be in storage until I've got some more shelves uh, I don't ever move anything on if I'm sent them as a gift uh, so please don't worry I do have it so I'm going to take you around the room today so sit back put your feet up relax and enjoy this full room tour of the Reynolds Reviews base Okay, so here we go as we enter the room. Shameless plug there. <laughs> okay, so let's get started now. As you can see, look, things are even on the back of the door now. So uh, I am using hand cam now, so please excuse if uh, I've got some shaky hand syndrome going on. I don't particularly have a steady hand, so I'm having to do it all handheld now. So, so on the back of the door, we've got my Star Wars Retro Collection. As you can see, I've taken the retro stickers off the first wave. So we've got Luke, Stormtrooper Vader. Then moving down, we've got Chewie, Leia, and Han Solo. Then we've got my Empire Strikes Back retro collection. We've got Boba Fett, Luke, Han. And then, of course, Lando, Leia, Yoda. And then at the bottom of the door, we've got my Mandalorian wave. So, uh, Mandalorian was very kindly gifted to me by Nick, a good friend of the channel. Thank you, Nick. And then the rest of the Mandalorian wave was actually gifted to me by um, Jason over at uh, Travels with Jason F. Absolutely lovely guy, great channel. And they were gifted to me by Jason. Um, every YouTuber that I mentioned on today's video, guys, anyone with an Instagram page, anything like that, I'm going to put in the description. So make sure you check out the description afterwards. Just going around the corner, we've got my Master Replica lightsaber. So we've got Jedi Luke there on the left. Got Kylo Ren in the middle and then Anakin's from Attack of the Clones on the right. Don't know if Luke's works actually, I think there's batteries in this one, let's have a look. There we go. Quite loud as well. Uh, and above that we've got my very small collection or vintage collection, so we've got Luke in Stormy Gear, sorry for the glare everyone, um, but I need to give a, a big shout out to Tim at Boss Bounty for this, he put me onto this at Echo, I picked that up for £12, so thank you Tim. And we've got Boosh Leia, First Order Stormtrooper, Emphis Nest, sorry for the glare everybody, we've got my Shaw Trooper, Bob Fett, Imperial Stormtrooper, you can't see that at all can you, I'm a Shadow Trooper. And we've got Blue Sky Boba Fett, thanks to Christian over at Smuggler's Canyon. My Carbonized Death Trooper, Remnant Storm Trooper, and I think that's Saga Collection, X-Wing Luke. Above the door, we've got my Necker Rocky figures. So we've got Rocky from Rocky IV and Clubber Lang. Now Rocky's going yellow. I don't know if you can tell on there. Clubber Lang's staying nice and clear. And Rocky's starting to go yellow. That's upsetting. And next to them, we've got my Necker Rambo figures. So we've got John Rambo from First Blood and from um, First Blood Part 2. Okay, I'm moving up. We've got my 40th anniversary Black Series 6-inch Star Wars figures. So at the end, we've got Dagobah Luke. We've then got the Snow Trooper. We've got Lando. Sorry for the glare again, everyone. We've got Han Solo. 
Luke Vespian, got the Hoth Soldier or Rebel Soldier, Attack Driver, Snow Speeder Luke, got the TIE Fighter Pilot, we've got Hanning Carbonite, and then right at the end, if we can see them, we've got R2 and Yoda tucked at the back. Moving down, we've got, now I do collect 1.1 scale Star Wars helmets, but I do have a few others as well. So I love Michael Myers as a character, so we've got a Michael Myers full-size mask there. We've got the uh, Marvel Legends Edition uh, Star-Lord helmet. We've got uh, my Jason Voorhees helmet. Actually, that's got um, a Bane mask underneath it. I've, I've run out of space. Oh, no, I've got space at the end, actually. We've got my Dark Knight Batman cowl. We've got my Legends Edition Iron Man helmet. And then a mannequin headwear, that mask. Could actually go on it so we will change that <laughs> okay moving on we have got my um rebel transport there or the flying pickle we have got my vintage millennium falcon one day i will get that finished i promise you i will get that finished uh, we've got daniel san he's protecting the falcon uh, that was sent to me by vtr dave i think he he threw that in with a he-band uh, he sent me a message saying that he couldn't send a he-band on its own so he put good old Daniel in there with me. I always want to say this is Coleco, but it's Mego, isn't it? Coleco's Rambo. Uh, if you can just see my Lego Slave 1 tucked at the back there. Unfortunately, there's no home for him yet, so he's tucked behind. And then if we come out, we have got my vintage Castle Grayskull on the top of the cabinets there. Okay, now we're getting into my 1.1 scale Star Wars helmets. Now, I'm a big helmet collector. Unfortunately, I'm so uh, stuck for space now that I've not bought a helmet in quite a while, so... Uh, there's my um, a New Hope helmet, I almost forgot there everyone, uh, that's my uh, TK Armour A New Hope helmet. We have got my Black Series Shadow Trooper underneath that. We have got my custom Attack Drivers helmet under there. And then at the bottom we have got my Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. Moving across we've got the Black Series Kylo Ren helmet, extremely expensive that now, I don't know why but that's shot up in price. My Black Series Luke Skywalker Red 5 X-Wing helmet. My custom Inferno Squad helmet, I love that thing. My Black Series Mandalorian helmet. Then we have got my Anavos First Order Stormtroop helmet, absolutely love that helmet. Um, Black Series Darth Vader helmet, although Hasbro have just released a new one, like an upgraded version. Don't know if I'll get it, because it just kind of feels like I'm buying the same helmet again, but... My Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper helmet and finishing off one of my favourites, my custom Boba Fett helmet. Okay, so moving along on the wall now, just next to the cabinets, we have got my uh, Retro Collection Prototype Stormtrooper and Boba Fett. Just above there, we have got my Remnant Stormtrooper and my Mithril. Uh, vintage Collection figures, very kindly sent to me by Paul over at Paul's Collectibles. Thank you, Paul. And then we've got a couple of spare retro figures. Surprise, surprise, Boba Fett and Luke Bespin. Just love those figures. And whenever I see them for cheap, I just kind of feel I've got to pick them up. Okay, so we're moving along now on the top shelf there. We have got my um, Star Wars uh, Battle Drones. Now, they are from a company. I always forget the company. Uh, Propel. The company's called Propel. And they are fantastic. You can actually get an app for your phone. You can connect them to the app. Uh, they come with a huge sort of remote control where you can mount your phone in. And then you can battle other people. Um, if they've got one as well. No, I don't know anyone else that's got one, so I've got three and hope that a friend will come round and we'll battle with them together. I've not actually done that yet, um, but they are a great piece of kit and they're quite cheap now. I'd recommend them if you like your battle drones. Coming down now, one of my um, favourite shelves. Yeah, I kind of feel it's it's now overloaded and almost looking a bit messy, but my Transformers shelf. So like I said, you know, I've been influenced by other collectors, so this Transformers shelf is, is really down to people like Tez, uh, Runners Reviews, Dean All Things 80s, um, Jody, Gen X Toys Geek. Um, I didn't have any G1 Transformers and then I saw their channels and thought, why do I not have any Transformers? So uh, so if you can see, we've got G1 Soundwave there. Just behind him, we've got my Masterpiece Soundwave. It is a KO, but it's amazing. Um, we've got G1 Galvatron, Cyclonus, Scourge. We've got Thrust, Shabby's favourite, Skywarp. Just behind there, actually, we've got um, Star Scream in his box, it's, you can't see him, and then behind these guys, just see Hot Rod, a reissue Hot Rod as well, but we've got Skywarp, and then we've got Blur, very generously sent to me by Tez, 
as was Iron Hyde just behind him and then we've got Sideswipe there um, again very kindly gifted to me by our Gavin we've got G1 reissue Optimus just behind there we've got Ultra Magnus and I've already mentioned my masterpiece Soundwave moving down one of my favorite shelves in the room now my Boba Fett shelf we've got my uh, Black Series Boba Fett helmet just in front there we've got my Bounty Hunter capture log very very kindly sent to me by Steve you may know him better as Lord Mulvada thank you Steve we've got my vintage um, Boba Fett at the front there with Han and Carbonite in the uh, that's from the Slave One we've got another retro collection Boba Fett just because why not my prototype Boba Fett loose and my very very first bootleg Boba Fett very kindly sent to me by Derby Collector thank you and then we've got another Black Series um, Boba Fett in his package in there. We've got my six inch droids Boba Fett, very kindly sent to me recently actually by uh, Chris Smith, Smith Lord. Thank you, Chris, I love that thing. And then next to him, we've got my loose uh, Black Series 40th anniversary Boba Fett. And then just behind there, we have got my vintage style um, shelf sign. So my Palatoy Boba Fett shelf sign, love that as well. Moving down, then we've got my vintage Star Destroyer playset with all the bounty hunters there. If we just look through the front look, we'll see Boba Fett taking some instruction off Darth Vader. No disintegration. <laughs> it's a terrible impression, I'm sorry everyone. We've got a couple of vintage speeder bikes and my scout trooper there. The box for the speeder bike behind and then we've got my Endor Heroes Black Series Luke and Han. I will add layer to that at some point. And then we've got some vintage Jedi figures. Obviously Luke in Stormy Gear is not Jedi but the rest are. And of course another Boba Fett. You'll see various vintage Boba Fett scattered around the room. Um, purely because he's my favourite character. Moving down, we've got my carbonized Black Series Mandalorian and my carbonized Black Series Boba Fett, uh, which are a very, um, very luckily won on a giveaway on Matt's channel, Universal Collector. We've got my vintage collection skiff box at the back there, as well as um, a couple of the retro games with Tarkin and Snow Speeder Luke just at the back there. And then we've got my vintage collection skiff at the front, populated by the vintage figures, which I think look great on there. Luke getting ready to go into the Sarlacc pit, but I imagine that he's just caught his saber from R2 and he's getting ready to escape. But I just think that setup looks absolutely great. Moving underneath there, a very, very small shelf underneath there. And I don't like this corner of the room because it all gets a bit messy where things are stored. And uh, So if you can just see under there, we've got my Plumobile DeLorean and Back to the Future figures. We've actually got Death from Family Guide at the end there. If you can see him, I love that character. And then we've got a few books just there. We've got a few mass books, very kindly sent to me by Retro Ed and a Master of the Universe one, actually. We've got my Star Wars price guide. Now, that's very outdated now, but I still do find it helps me gauge uh, prices. Uh, we've got a couple of Echo guides down there. We've got my Transformers guide, my Battlefront strategy book, and my Action Figure Archive book for Star Wars. Again, I use all those for reference. Never have too many reference books. Then we've got some storage boxes, they've just got uh, spare pieces in, just bits that I keep for vehicles etc if I need them. Um, we've got a storage box there with some of my filming lights in and then we've got a bag on the top. I keep some of my comics and things that people have sent me just so they don't get damaged while I use them. And then we've got, just taking care of this corner, we've got remote control R2 there. Another Transformers shelf now, so these are all my uh, reissue headmasters. So we've got Hardhead, we've got Weird Wolf, we have got Mindwipe, and we've got Skull Cruncher now. Answers on a postcard, does anybody know why um, the Headmasters were revamped, the Transformers? Now, all the G1 reissues, all the Transformers are exactly the same as we saw them in the 80s. They've kept all the Transformers the same, but when they got to the Headmasters, they've completely revamped the robots. Anybody know why that is? Answers on a postcard. Jump in the comments and let me know that because I, I, I don't understand why they changed those. Then moving along, we've got my reissue G1 Skywarp. We've got Red Alert. 
We have got my G1 reissue Grimlock, very kindly sent to me by Jody at Gen X Toys Geek. Thank you, Jody. Love the Dino Bots. Uh, and that was my favourite as a kid, so so pleased to get that. Then we've got um, the 86 line, we've got Jazz, we've got Cup, and we've got Blur. I do like the 86 line, but not always easy to get. Um, yeah, so I've only got a few, but I do tend to get some more. And then next to them, we have got my um, Masterpiece Red Alert. My masterpiece hot rod and masterpiece sideswipe. I think they again. I think they're chaos, but they're just awesome. And when I get some more room, I am going to try and uh, display them loose with the boxes behind them. Moving up, so now we are into my Masters of the Universe origins and vintage figures. So again, at the back, we have got my um, origin scare glow, very very generously sent to me by Chris Miwa at Chase Nature's Toys. We've got Stratos there, we've got Stinkor, um, and we've got Faker. And then we have got Trapjaw, again, very, very kindly gifted to me by Connor Fuller over at Fuller's Figures. Thank you, Connor. And then in front, I just thought it'd be cool to display the vintage figure with the Origins figure. So we've got Vintage Trapjaw, Vintage Faker, Stinkor, and Stratos as well. I have got some wings for Stratos, but they need repair, so I will be doing that soon. Then we have got the Origins Land Shark. I love that thing, and I got that for an absolute steal. I think I paid like £21 posted for that. Then we have got my Origins Skeletor. And again, I've done the same. So I'll put the Vintage figures next to the Origins figures. So we've got Vintage Skeletor there, Origins He-Man. Uh, vintage He-Man, very, very kindly gifted to me by uh, Baz over at uh, the Retro Files. Thank you, Baz. We've got Webstore and then Vintage Webstore. Origins Merman and Vintage Merman. And then behind that, we've got Origins Ninja. Okay, so moving up now, we've got my console. So we've got my Mega Drive. Absolutely love my Mega Drive. Me and Connor often um, play Streets of Rage 2 on this. Uh, every so often, we, we rock that. We love it. Absolutely love it. My PS1. Now, I say my PS1. This is on long-term loan, really, from... Uh, my brother-in-law on Rachel's side, so thank you, John, for loaning me this. I love playing Tekken. Um, yeah, really fond memories of that. My Xbox One, where I often play some Battlefront. Love Battlefront. And then my SNES, where, again, uh, a little bit of Street Fighter Turbo and Mario Kart. Absolutely love that. Okay, not a bad channel, apparently, that one. Uh, moving up, we have got my uh, vintage carded uh, Klaatu, uh, very, very generously sent to me as a gift by Matt, again over at Universal Collector, could not believe it when I got that, and um, that is my only, up to now, that is my only vintage carded figure, but I hope to add a few to that, um, probably Jabba's Goons on the Jedi card, because they're the cheapest. And we've got my latest uh, wave of retro collection, so Mandalorian retro collection wave 2 there, which I think are absolutely amazing. And then when we get to the end, we have got my Vintage Loop Best Bin, and I've put that in a GW credit case with the corresponding card back behind him. And I'm actually going to start doing that with a few figures now. And then just above that, we've got a few of my Star Wars pictures that I picked up at various conventions. So we've got Empire Strikes Back, we've got my Adidas Stormtrooper, and Empire again. As you can see, Carbonite Freeze Chamber, where Hannah's just been putting Carbonite. Moving along, we've got my Pride, um, I think I think it was 2005, action figure display diorama, very, very kindly gifted to me by uh, Neil Grandin. Just in the gap there, you may be able to just see my Boba Fett helmet, which is signed by Jeremy Bullock. I don't know if you can see that, but just sneaking in there. Then we've got my vintage um, VHS collection of special edition Star Wars. Uh, that was again gifted to me by John. And then we've got my Star Wars Jedi Challenges. Um, if you don't know this, it's augmented reality. So you put a headset on um, and you can fight all your favourite bad guys from Star Wars. Absolutely awesome piece of kit. And again, fairly cheap now as well. And then we've got a couple of vintage Tauntauns, both open belly, just hanging out. We've got Luke and Han. Okay, moving down. We've got my vintage Slave 1. That is in the box as well. That's in great shape. I'm so pleased with that. Next to that, we've got my vintage ATST. We've got a loose Black Series Carbonized Boba Fett and a Black Series Dagobah Luke. 
And next to those, we have got my Sphero BBA and R2D2 with force bands. Uh, again, amazing piece of kit, those. You know, you can control them with your phone or with the force band as well using force push. Um, absolutely great piece of kit. And next to that, we have got my uh, Lego sail barge. Not proper Lego, actually. I got that from Wish for £17, and it's wicked to say what it is. Um, yeah, £17 that. Um, absolutely great piece. We've got my Lego skiff and Sarlat pit. They are official Lego. And then just behind there, again, through lack of space, we've got my Lego snow speeder. Moving down, we have got the uh, the box from my Vintage Collection Slave 1. We have got another uh, Mandalorian Retro Collection Boba Fett. But as you can see, I managed to get the sticker off that and it looks great. Then we've got a little bit of a diorama. We've got the Stormtroopers taking Han and Carbonite to Slave 1. And I've tried to recreate the image, actually. If you just see on there, I've just kind of tried to recreate the image a little bit. There we go. We've got my boxed tripod laser cannon at the back, and then my um, Cloud City play set. Uh, obviously not an original, that is a, a replica. Uh, I could never afford the original, but I just think it looks great as a setup. Moving along, we have got my Palatoy uh, Imperial True Transport. We've got my Black Series Wumper, and then We've got my um, Empire Strikes Back lunch tin. Very, very kindly gifted to me um, for a Christmas gift, actually, from Angela and Alex. Thank you, guys. Absolutely love that. Moving down, we have got my boxed Scout Walker. Um, again, very kindly bought for me by Joe and Nicola for Christmas. So many things in that bundle. I don't know if you remember it, but the boxed ATST came in that bundle. So thank you, guys. Then we have got my Palatoy Wampa in great shape, that as well. And the box is great as well. And behind there, we have got my um, boxed snow speeder. Um, I already had the snow speeder, but Neil Grandin very kindly sent me the blue sky box. I'd quite like to pick up the pink sky one as well, but uh, again, very kindly sent to me by Neil. And then we've got my loose black series snow trooper just taking care of everything there. Moving across, we have got my best bit loot collection. Again, I, I wouldn't call myself a focus collector, but I know everyone's going to say that I am. So we've got all the best spin loops. Just love the figure. Um, any variation, if I find him for cheap, I always pick him up. Then moving along, we've got the Mail Away, but it's the 2005, is it 2005, I think, the Mail Away Early Bird Certificate Package? Not the original, could never afford that. And then moving down, one of my grill pieces. Now, it took me a long time to get this um, Mail Away original 12 display stand, but I absolutely love it. Managed to get it around 18 months ago. It's in great shape. The backboard's a little bit beat up, but the sticker at the front is in great shape. And I just love that. So yeah, that was a grill piece of mine. Really, really pleased to get that. And then we've just got another few figures at the end. All bad guys on this side. Love that shelf though. Look at those troopers all together. They look great. And then various Jabba's goons on the way up. Love that. Moving down. Now, I did say there's a few other things non-Star Wars in the, in the room. This is one, so I do love Back to the Future as a franchise as well. And as you can see, I've got the Nike Air Mags from Back to the Future 2. And as you can see, they light up. They don't self-lace, though, unfortunately. Everybody asks that question. We've got my Necker 6-inch Marty McFly from Back to the Future 1 and 2. With the outer time plate just behind. We've got my custom Back to the Future card backs, very, very kindly sent to me by uh, Chris King on Instagram, or um, is it Kenner by King? Uh, on Etsy, I will put again a link to Chris's page and his Instagram store, not Instagram store, sorry, Etsy store. We've got the boxes for my NECA figures at the back there. We've got my custom hoverboard, which I actually made myself. I need to borrow your hoverboard. We've then got Brickhead, Doc and Marty, and my Back to the Future 2 Wax Pack trading cards. Very kindly sent to me by Usual Mike. Thank you, Mike. Moving along, we've got my Deluxe Battle Armor Skeletor, He-Man Origin figure. Battle Armor He-Man. And just under there, Clamp Champ. 
I do need to display these better, but as you can see at the back, we've also got Masters of the Universe Origins Panthor and Battle Cat, but unfortunately you can't see them, you can only see the cards. But again, when I get more shelves, they will be displayed better. Okay, moving down, and we're now getting to one of my favourite areas in the room now. Uh, so if you follow the channel, you will know that not only do I love Star Wars, I'm a huge, huge mask lover. Um, and my mask collection is growing quite nicely. So as you can see, we've got the start of my mask collection. So at the top there, we've got my vintage Thunderhawk with uh, my mini diecast Thunderhawk. Again, very, very kindly sent to me by Tim over at Boss Bounty. Thank you, Tim. Absolutely love that. Uh, we've got Matt Tracker in his figure box there. Uh, and the figure box and the custom carded figures next to them were provided to me by a very good friend of the friend of the channel now called Ant. Um, you will find him on Instagram and on eBay. Again, I'll leave all links. But Ant produces these himself and they are superb. Um, and he also does the figure boxes, which you know, and we will get to those in a second. Moving along, we've got my Switchblade. Uh, and again, you know, God, it feels like I'm thanking everyone. I, it, this is highlighting just how many gifts I get. People are so generous. Uh, but this was sent to me for my birthday last year from uh, DCB June and VTR Dave. It was lovingly restored um, and repaired and then sent to me. I absolutely love it. I will treasure it in my collection. Uh, yeah, it's one of the sort of flagship pieces of my mask collection. Really love it. Uh, my custom Miles Mayhem there, sent to me by Dave Surridge. Uh, it's awesome as well. When you put it next to the original with the factory colours it's so different but absolutely wicked so that is displayed with my switchblade we've got piranha just behind him with slyrax in the sidecar then we've got i'm going to try and remember everyone off the cuff now so we've got floyd malloy with vampire uh, we've got my short mask cliff dagger with jackhammer i've got two jackhammers just because i love it we've then got my iguana with lester sludge We've got Ali Bombay with Bullet or Bandit, depending on where you come from in the world. Then we have got my very, very minty, brand new Manta with Vanessa Warfield. And that was very generously gifted to me by Dean over at All Things 80s. He's a huge Mask fan. Uh, and that was brand new. The decals weren't even on it when I got it. Uh, and Vanessa Warfield was still in her baggie. So thank you, Dean. We've got Stinger with Bruno Shepard. We've got Hurricane with Hondo McLean. Um, another Thunderhawk because why not because it's so cool with Matt Tracker we've then got Raven with Calhoun Burns we've got Gator and it's a minty Gator as well very very generously sent to me by Chris Smith he sends me so many things Chris he's so generous uh, with Dusty Hayes and then we've got Firefly with um, Julio Lopez and then behind that we have got Slingshot with oh Ace Riker almost forgot got there moving down we've got my original switchblade box very very kindly uh, sold to me by duncan now and uh, that wasn't a gift but he gave me it for an amazing price so thank you dunk uh, and then we've got my recreation boxes for raven and thunderhawk uh, again sent to me for uh, sent to me by ant you know these boxes are amazing he produces these himself they are so good make sure you check them out if you're a mask fan uh, then we've got, oh, my boulder's popped up. I need to push that down. Then we've got my complete Boulder Hill play set with Raven and Firecracker there. Uh, we've got Hondo McLean in his short mask. Now, that is a cut-off short mask. It's not an original, um, but I just think it looks far more cartoon accurate. Then we've got um, Brad Turner with Condor, with Alex Sector and Buddy Hawks there with their short masks. And then we've got... Uh, stiletto which I've only just got actually so stiletto getting ready to be gassed up at Boulder Hill um, and I've actually just changed the gas lines now the gas lines were black before and I was always under the impression they were black but my good friend Lee Evans uh, who goes by mask fan on Instagram informed me that they were red and then not only that he sent me some as well so thank you Lee just a lovely finishing touch uh, and then we have got my original box vintage rhino uh, very, very kindly sent to me by Andy over at the Holo Chronicles. That blew me away when I opened that. I could not believe what I was seeing. Um, it's still in its box at the moment because I, I kind of want to display it far more prominently. Um, when I get some more shelves and the mass collection goes on there, that will be front and centre because it's just such um, an amazing piece. So, yeah, the, the collection will be built around that. I've got my vintage Piranha. That's boxed. Uh, and then we've got some more boxes sent by Ant. We've got Bandit. Just behind there, we've got Stinger, and underneath there, we've got Gator. Sorry about the wires, everybody. 
Moving up, we've got my original box Dynamo. We've got more boxes um, sent by Ant. So, I mean, look how amazing they are. We've got a box with my jackhammer and then my vintage Bluebird mask lunchbox. But just before we, we leave this section, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, a few people in the mask community because since I've been collecting masks, and I've only been doing it around 18 months, I've met so many amazing people and, and got so much help from people. So I just want to give a shout out uh, to Taron Ellis. Um, Taron, what a great guy, helps me a lot. Uh, Ant, obviously at Insta Mask, um, Ant helps me a lot. Lee Evans um, at Mask Fan, Mark of Mask on Instagram, uh, Rob Tatson Toys, all these guys have helped me so much. Mark Gehagen, um, Dazzler Dude. Um, there's someone I'm missing, Gary Pendergast, Chris Lewis, all these guys have helped me so much since I've been collecting masks. I'm sorry if I forgot anybody there, I think I covered everyone. Moving along, now I'm sorry, I'm just about to get to the window everyone, so I'm sorry if it gets a bit bright. So we've got my Vintage Collection Slave 1, absolutely huge but love it. Next to that we've got uh, Sheldon, don't ask me why, it's a bit random, but I just, I love the Big Bang Theory and I've got my... Sheldon series one there with his uh, with his sort of board and all his equations on. Moving down, now I don't generally collect Funkos, they're not generally my, my thing, but I do have a handful and I've got to be honest though, the ones I do have I think are great because they are characters that I love. Um, we've got Bill Lundberg there, now I absolutely love Office Space as a movie, it's brilliant. If you've ever worked in an office, you need to watch that movie and you will be able to appreciate that so much, it's a great film. Thanks. Uh, another one of my favourite movies coming to America, so we've got Semi and Prince Akeem. Of course we've got Martin McFly. Then we've got John Wick. And again, outside Star Wars, another one of my favourite movies is The Big Lebowski. We've got The Dude, which is just an amazing film. You've got to watch it a few times. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but it's so good. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Uh, then we've got a few DVDs, ones that I generally tend to watch the most. So we've got my Transformers box sets, uh, a few of the Michael Bay movies as well. I know they're not everyone, not everyone's a fan, but I quite like them. We've got my complete Mask cartoon set. We've got uh, my complete Thundercats set that was very kindly sent to me by Nick. Uh, I've not cracked that open yet, Nick, but I will. I do intend to watch that. I'm very excited to get into that. Uh, then we've got my Black Series. You can't actually see it. You can only see the numbers, but my Black Series... Uh, Dagobah, Luke uh, and Yoda in the training training pack. We've got, um, oh, it's Poe Dameron. God, sorry, Matt. You, <laughs> I won this on Matt's competition as well. Poe Dameron. Again, these will all be displayed once I get some more room. And then we've got a few uh, carded figures down there. They are not original carded, though. They are just recards. Um, I, I plan to take them out and display them loose very soon. Moving up, we've got again a few more DVDs, again ones that I just tend to watch a lot. So we've got all my Star Wars movies, a few of the Marvel franchise as well. And then we've got, just tucked away looks, I'm struggling for room, we've got two of my Vader Kenner carry cases. Um, we've got Fanboys just at the top there, I need to watch that. That was given to me by Desi T at Echo. Um, I've never watched that and he's given me that too. Uh, to watch and then I've got to pass it on to uh, Nick, only one Kenobi. So I'm going to move that on to him after that. We've got a few card backs there that are waiting for cases. We've got my on-air light, which I kind of want to use when I'm on live streams, but I can never find a place to put it behind me. And then we've got two, um, you can't see them, but they are vintage Star Wars vinyl carry cases. And then moving up, we have got my... Um, Big Lebowski action figures, so we've got Jesus Quintana and the dude. I absolutely love these figures. Again, I love Big Lebowski as a movie. They are great, and they, as you can see, they are standing on the famous rug. But just two amazing characters. I mean, especially Jesus Quintana, you know, played by John Chichoro. I just think it's an amazing character. Woo! Then we've got my Lego First Order TIE Fighter at the back, and my TIE Fighter desk desk light just there I'm sorry that we're at the window everyone if you can't see but love those moving along now you can't really see them but there are two um, tote bins under there there I've got my Inferno squad outfit in and my Stormtrooper armor we have got a few storage cases there we've got three storage cases at the bottom just there these I've got my spare Star Wars figures in then we've got a smaller case at the top where I put all my spare um, mask figures 
Uh, then we've got my printer for work, you don't want to see that. We've got the, oh, the Mini Kenner guidebook for the card backs. Very, very excited to start getting into that. Um, lovingly produced by Greg and Jani. Do some amazing work, those guys. We're very, very excited for the book coming as well. And then we've got my mask guidebook, or my collector's guide, which I often refer to when it comes to mask collecting. Then moving up, we've got my Lego buildable shelf. So we've got my Lego Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. Absolutely love that, and it's huge as well. If you like your Lego, I would recommend you get into the buildables because they're so cool. We've got my Lego um, General Grievous there. Then we've got Boba Fett. Just behind him, we've got Kylo Ren. We've then got my Sith Kyber Crystal, very, very kindly sent to me by Matt over at Matt's Collection, straight from Galaxy's Edge as well, so I'm very, very pleased to have that. And then as part of my Christmas gift, we've got my Lego Head Boba Fett again, um, sent to me for Christmas by uh, DCB June and VTI Dave. Thank you guys, absolutely love that. We've got my Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett Cloud City picture there. Love that. Sorry about the reflection, everybody. Then we've got my vintage Jabba the Hutt. I'm going to call it a playset test, sorry. <laughs> no, I know you think it's a playset, don't you? Uh, I just need the table for the, the bomb and everything to go on. Um, got Salacious Rum, and then we've got Bib Fortuna. Um, and, oh, I forgot his name. 88 at the back. Then we've got my 3.75 droids figures. So we've got C3PO, R2D2, Boba Fett, and then we've also got a loose Boba Fett, which was kindly sent to me by Michael Chapman. Uh, again, he's got a, a YouTube channel, check him out, it'll be in the description. Uh, moving up, we've got my vintage VHS tapes from my, uh, for Star Wars. So those three are my original childhood tapes. And the rest, barring, I'm sorry you can't see the images everyone, I do need to display them better. Now the Revenge of the Jedi tape I bought myself, but all the rest were very, very kindly donated to me by Gary Moore. Um, he sent them all the way from America. Um, but I just love vintage VHS Star Wars tapes. So thank you Gary. They will be displayed better once I get some more shows and we'll be able to see the images. And then moving up, we have got my boxed Castle Grayskull. It's the Origins, uh, the Origins version. Not the vintage, I wish. I do have a vintage Castle Grayskull, but unfortunately not the box. And then next to that, of course, we have got one of my favourite pieces in the room. So very, very, very kindly produced for me and sent to me by our Sai. And look at that. So of course, combining my two favourite things in my partner Rachel and Boba Fett. I mean, how amazing is that? Uh, but yeah, very kindly sent to me by Sai for 100 episodes. Moving along, we've got my vintage Attack. Starting to look a bit sorry, unfortunately. It's still missing so many bits, which I'm determined to get this year. And he's starting to discolour on the bottom of his legs as well, which is a real shame. But we've got Snow Speeder Loop hanging there. Look, getting ready to throw in the detonator. We've got my Reynolds Reviews shelf sign there. Very, very uh, kindly bought for me by Connor. Then we've got my vintage Palatoy X-Wing and my Power of the Force X-Wing behind it. And then we've got my big fig, Boba Fett. Looks awesome. Just above that, we've got a few vintage figures just on the uh, on the shallow shelves there. Most of them incomplete. And then above that, we've got my uh, poster checklist for the vintage figures. Really do love that. Uh, bought for me by Rachel a couple of Christmases ago now. Then moving along, we've got some more vintage Masters of the Universe. So as you can see, so there's no lights at this side of the room. They are getting ready to go in, but so I apologise if this is a bit dark. So we've got original Battle Cat with Battle Armor He-Man and Panthor with Battle Armor Skeletor. But look at the condition of that Panthor. No flock missing whatsoever. It's awesome. Uh, but all these again, all these in the Christmas gifts from Joe and Nicholas. So thank you again, guys. But there's so much stuff. A lot of it is still in storage, but they are wicked. Again, in the Christmas stuff from Joe and Nicola, we've now got uh, vintage real Ghostbusters. So we've got the Ecto one there. And it has got the tether in the back with the claw. As you can see, we've got the ghost. Then we've got all the ghosts for the figures. We've got Slimer there. We've got Stay Puffed at the back with Janine. And then we've got all the original guys just there. We've even got an original tub of Ectoplasm. Look at that. So I think I'm going to look at getting the um, the reissue 
real Ghostbusters as well, just to go with them, which I think would just display really well. Then moving up, we've got more Vintage Motu, so we've got He-Man and the Attack Track. Then we've got Man at Arms on the Battle Ram. And then just behind there, uh, we've got Centurions. Now again, I do intend to get Max Ray this year, uh, but weirdly, when I was a kid, Max Ray was the least desirable. Nobody wanted him. I think that's because he looked like your dad with his mustache and things. And he's now so hard to get, probably the hardest one to get and the most expensive. Um, but I was very generously sent Ace McLeod by, again, VTR Dave, he helps me out so much. And then I picked up last year Jake Rockwell, but again, very, very kindly sourced for me by Gianni. Um, and he got me a great deal as well. I was a bit cheeky, really, because it was already a great price, and I got him to shave me a little bit more off. So not only thank you for uh, helping me out with that, Gianni, but thank you for doing me a deal as well. And then we're getting near the end now, so one thing that I'm extremely proud of in the base is my original boxed snake mountain now snake mountain is in there and it is incomplete however look at that box that's an original box look how bright it is obviously a couple of creases in the corners but i was so pleased to get that so once i've completed snake mountain um, that will be boxed and the original instructions are in there as well so really really happy with that absolutely love it one of the standout pieces in the room really but just to give you all an idea of just how bad it is at the moment for storage, as you can see, in storage we've got so much more Motu. We've got G1 Optimus there, look. We've got G1 Ultra Magnus. We've got anti eternity He-Man waiting to go out. We've got Meteor. We've got so much stuff. We've got another battle round. We've got Vintage Ecto 2. This is where we are now. We've got stuff in boxes upstairs as well. But this is how bad it's getting. You know, all this stuff is waiting to go out. So many things. Look, we've got, got more vintage Star Wars in there. We've got some loose TMNT. These are the vintage ones as well. Again, very, very kindly sourced for me by Derby Collector. He is a man who provides, provides, provides. We've got the reissued tails all waiting to go out and behind them we've actually got, you can just see it there, we've got uh, Vader's TIE Fighter and the Interceptor that was sent to me by Dave at Toy Polloy as well, all waiting for homes. Um, so just to give you an idea of just how bad it's getting and we've got more stuff upstairs as well. Um, so yeah, getting very, very difficult. Uh, but just to finish, the one thing I haven't addressed, which is probably one of the newest things in the room, is the bed. Now, this is new because you may recall there was a sofa there before. Uh, now, the reason that's here now is one, I mean, it helps with storage, but two, I'm a bit of a snorer. So when, when I snore and Rachel kicks me out of the bed, uh, I end up sleeping in the toy room. Now, I was sleeping on the sofa when I got kicked out and it was just absolute chaos from my back. So we put a bed in here. So when I get kicked out of the main bedroom, this is where I sleep, but at least now I can sleep comfortable. And... Of course, vintage Return of the Jedi bedding, which Rachel very kindly got for me for Valentine's Day. So uh, in this house, we say I love you with Star Wars. <laughs> so there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, I certainly enjoyed taking you around with me and I hope that's given you a better idea uh, of the way the base is looking at the moment and how everything's laid out. It has changed quite a lot since last time. Uh, but yeah, storage is becoming an issue. So hopefully there'll be new shelves going up soon and everything else can go out. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. Uh, and if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers, I know I say it all the time, everybody, but I mean it when I say it. I really do appreciate all of you because without your support, the channel wouldn't happen. So uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I try to reply to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.